My name is Kelvin West, and I am live here in downtown Phoenix at the Cheetah Solar Studios. And let me tell you, life is great. We got a wonderful, wonderful person on the show today, Mr. David Strathman. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's all good. Before, before we get to you, I got a couple shout outs, and then we're going to get jump right into the show. First and foremost, I want to shout out Mr. Mark Lance and Jordan Gale. They helped two homeowners, William and Jody Chaltry, make the switch into solar in Arizona City. So hello there in Arizona City. And before we begin, I want to make sure that you guys are a part of our solar community. Uh, we have the Run With The Sun Solar Community Facebook group on Facebook. Make sure you join. It's a private group. They've got a ton of resources on there, a lot of conversation about solar. So if you're just curious or have some questions about solar, they can get that answer for you there. And as always, make sure you subscribe to the Run With The Sun podcast. We are located on Apple, Spotify, and Google. Mr. Strathman. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Doing great. Yeah, life is great. Hey, life is great, man. You, you enjoying yeah. the sun? Oh, absolutely. I love this it. This is why we live here. This is why we live here. You know, <laughs> I mean, the summers are kind of crazy. It's a it's a desert that we live here in Arizona, but you know what? It's it's a it's a good time. Yeah, if you can get through the four months of heck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then, you know, we live in paradise. There you go. To be honest. So, David, I'm really excited to meet with you today because you are, you come from one mission. Correct. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to, little, to, to get to know you a little bit personally, um, what you yep. did before one mission, how you got into one mission, and then tell us all about one mission. Cool. So, tell so us about personally, I was, uh, I was in the real estate industry going okay. to get contractor's license. Yeah. Um, and just been in that for about three years now. Sure. Um, before that, I was playing hockey semi-professionally. Oh, really? Yeah, so I hockey. grew up here in the Valley and then went and pursued that for a while. So you're born and raised here in Arizona? Yeah, down in Tempe. And you played hockey. Yeah. Who does it? Okay. Yeah. Where <laughs> See, else I'm, do you want to be when it's 110 degrees? Hey, man, on the ice. I, I would. I can agree with that. So I'm actually originally from Alaska. So um, okay. hockey was part of our, our upbringing. Absolutely. There, so, yeah. So tell oh, me more yeah. about this. So you played hockey. Yep. Semi-professionally. What does that mean? Yeah. So like in the minors. Okay. So, okay. you know, you're on feeder teams for the NHL. Interesting. So, yeah. so what kept you from getting into the NHL? Uh, the competition. Yeah. And all those guys are younger. Sure. They were drafted. I wasn't drafted. No uh, worries. Was, no worries. You know, the goal is to get my, my school paid for. And you had a bigger I, mission absolutely. ahead of you, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah not like, to, no pun intended. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Super good. It's, yeah. it's a tough sport to play. And, yeah. And just beating your body up and was starting to get older and broke my wrist and said, yeah. I'm done with this. And the, and the turn of the page. And so then who yep. do we become? So now. So then got into real estate doing yeah. wholesaling, um, learned a lot about finding properties that were distressed that needed to uh, be re revived. And so were you like a home flipper? Or is that? Yeah. That so I was really... working for a wholesale company Okay, and we were selling it to investors. So, so tell me what a wholesale company in real estate is. Is that they're, somebody? They're, they're, it's a real estate brokerage. Gotcha. But they find distressed properties that can be wholesaled. Just oh, right off the bat, really you know, making five to fifteen thousand dollars just by selling it to an investor real quick. Interesting. So yeah. you buy it from the homeowner. Yep. At a by the price, yep. I'm pretty sure what it's worth for them, right? Right. And then you quickly flip it to a an investor who wants to invest in that community. Right? Find out what the after rehab value would be. And wow. We would do analytics and, and figure all that out and get them the numbers. And if it made sense, then they'd buy it right there on the spot. That's amazing. And we'd close within seven days and how long did you do that for? I was in that for about six months. Six, okay. Yeah, so that, was, that wasn't it. really your passion. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Right. I was more learning it for personal um, to go out and do the investing myself. Sure. Would you so, say you found your passion now? Yeah. Tell me about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So with one mission, we actually build houses for people in poverty. Okay. So I get to help start from the ground up. Yeah. And, you know, even all the way to funding it. So. And now, now people, you can't, there's going to be video of this, but I'm looking yeah. in your eyes and you're just like, you're so excited about this. Oh, yeah. It's, and it's like, you're like really passionate about this. So yeah. tell me how you got into this and tell me exactly what, what Misha does like, you know, yeah. From so, start to finish. Yeah. So I went on one of the build trips. So okay. regular Joe's go on the trip. Have so you no said it's like volunteer or something like that. Yep. Okay. Yep. Very so good. It's, yeah. it's more of a mission trip for their communities. And so we got invited and went on the trip and okay. absolutely fell in love with it. And now, when you say a mission trip, is that because so I, I know the the faith faith based community. Tell me more. Yeah. I so, did, this is I didn't so know this. Tell me more. With one them. mission, yeah. we're we're not just building houses. We're building a community. Wow. Yeah. So that's the. Is big, it specific to any faith or just a no? Okay. Not specific. Interesting. So, um, wow. Predominantly Christians. Sure. That, sure. Sure. That, yeah. That yeah. do this, but yeah, yeah. Um, you know, people that are Muslim. Anybody's you know, welcome. Jews that you know, they're anybody. Yeah. Anybody, all walks of the faith can come and, and enjoy this. Um, it's more about seeing, 
seeing the impact that you have, um, you know, outside of yourself. Yeah. yeah. Cause here in the U S we get wrapped up in, in materials Yeah, out yeah. there. It's more of, Hey, what, how do we survive? Yeah. And yeah. So that's what it's about. Yeah. Right. Yep. Wow. And so the, wow. everybody sees us as we're building houses. Yeah. The majority of what we do is behind the scenes. Okay. Right? Everybody gets to see that. Let's so get we're into building that. the community. What does that look so like? So we're giving them opportunities to empower themselves to have a better life. Sure. So we're getting them, you know, they're doing skills all the way from crochet and sewing to carpentry work to a community garden. Wow. So they're interacting with each other more on a, on a, a global scale. Okay. Um, and then that way they're making more money. There. So how do you guys do it? So I, I kind of understanding of like you're building communities, you're, you're, um, you're, te- you're, te- you're teaching some, some serious, awesome values to yeah. these communities. How do you go about doing that? So here locally, we fund the houses, Yeah, yeah. but we have a team, we have a huge team down in Mexico okay. that are doing all of the programs. Wow. So we're not just in Mexico. We have two different cities in Mexico and then we're in El Salvador, Nicaragua. Now, are you guys in America at all? No. So okay. we're here, we're here okay. doing the fundraising to go down there, spend the money on building houses. Now, let, me, let me just kind of d- jump into that. I'm, I may be throwing you, putting you on the spot and I do apologize, but no. so is it specifically countries outside of America that you guys help or do you guys help? So the America? amount of money that it costs us to build a house down there in those other countries, wow, yeah. you wouldn't be able to do here in the United okay. States. Okay. And that there's makes sense. also so yeah. many, so many organizations here in the United States sure. that are also already kind of having their hands kind in, of have, in, they have a, in poverty. Gotcha, gotcha, um, we're gotcha. dealing on a, a, an extreme poverty. Okay. We're not talking about materialistic things. We're talking about shelters. So let's, and, so let's talk about that extreme yeah. poverty. So what does that look like? So dirt floors, okay. um, using pallets, um, wow. tarps. Wow. Um, these people are using anything they can get their hands on. For shelter. So they're shelter. building, they're so building, they're building, building it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Outside of working yeah. a full-time job. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So the community programs that we have, house recipients have to do a minimum of four hours or 400 hours yeah. of community service. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's how they gain the house. We're not just giving it to them. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so they're earning like, it. Wonderful. So let's get yeah. into that. So they, they have to earn this house. What yeah. does that, what does that look like specifically? So they're, they're doing, they're learning how to make compost in the gardening. Okay. And then so the actual building of the house is what they're doing. So no, they'll, they'll help while we're there building, Got but it. doing their community service, they are learning those skills, gardening, oh. crochet, sewing. Um, those are the things that we're giving them opportunities. Some are even going to get their GEDs. Wow. Um, some people who come into the program don't even speak Spanish. Like their their dialect isn't Spanish. It's it's broken because they're, yeah. they're the, yeah. you know, just the learning that they've had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. So For sure. Yeah. We're giving them those opportunities to learn things that they're going to need to be successful. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's impressive. Yeah. That's impressive. So now to kind of piggyback on the, on the whole building of the community, cause that's part of the responsibility, right? Is to, is to give back to their community. So, you know, so they're, so when they're doing this gardening and stuff, like they're doing it for the community that their house is going to be in. Yep. Wow. Yep. So they're neighbors. So okay. it's getting to know your neighbor. So they're, they're essentially building a neighborhood from the inside out. Yep. That is amazing. That's yeah. amazing. How long has one commission, uh, one mission been around? So about 11 years, 11 years. Yeah. So wow, and we built almost 900 houses. Wow, what has your personal experience been like with One Mission? Um, I love it. Yeah, it's probably it, it that saying when you don't feel like you're working, yeah, or don't feel like a job, yeah, you never work a day in your life, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how that feels for sure. And it's it's amazing. So, this Getting is an end all be all for you. You're this is I'm gonna be your... in this for a long time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so, yeah, yeah. and yeah. I still practice real estate, they don't prevent me from doing anything sure. outside. I mean, that's of it. your personal business, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. And and I'm in charge of partnering with people in the real estate industry, like yeah. like Cheetah Solar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they're dealing with with homeowners, and we're gonna get to the connection between you absolutely. and Cheetah Solar in just a moment. I still want to get to know a little bit more about you. Um, so that that's that's absolutely fantastic. Okay, super cool. So now tell us what your specific role is. I don't know if we talked about that. What's your title? What's your role? How do you support these communities? So we have a campaign called House to House. Okay, and I, we partner with people in the real estate industry. Okay, um, agents, brokers, um, mortgage lenders. Um, title companies. Yeah. Um, yeah, any, yeah. Anybody that's working in the real estate industry, we want to work with them. Okay. Um, so what they do is they'll, they'll donate a certain portion. Um, 
specifically agents and brokers. That's how the program started. Sure. Um, they'll donate a certain percentage of their commissions okay. to one mission. Wow. Um, wow. And then in, in return, we give them a client gift to give to their clients, um, giving them a little bit, a little bit more about where that money was going. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it it kind of yeah. helps agents separate themselves. Okay. Because it's so competitive. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, there's tons of people doing real estate here in yeah. Phoenix. Uh, um, a ton of them. Yeah, I actually was going to be one of those people. I couldn't pass the test. So it's, it's a lot not of, an easy test. It's not an easy test. I only took it a couple of times and I know I probably should have went back for more, but I thought that podcasting was what I wanted to do. So Absolutely. <laughs> that's why yeah. I have you. Yeah. Good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. All right. So let's talk about the relationship that, that uh, Cheetah Solo has with One Mission. Okay. So they just recently partnered with us um how'd that come about um so we got connected with titan solar okay if you're familiar with yeah, those guys yeah. um great group of people for sure they got us in touch with cheetah solar went out and just built a great connection um, yeah the first time we met and so yeah. just been able to get them involved and they're they're super happy about it um, that's amazing they're actually looking at going on a trip to With Mexico, Mexico, right? Yeah. yeah, that's coming up like in April. Yeah, the right? end of April. Yeah. Uh, we, we're still working on those official dates. But, yeah. Um, so what would that look know. like for, so now if you're going to have Cheetah Solar partnering, what would that look like for Cheetah Solar's team members? Like how, so, what is, so paint me a day. So the sales guys out Mexico, there. Yeah. Okay, so all, well, in the, in terms of their trip. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Just so they'll, they'll, they'll pack be, up, yeah. they'll, you know, either camp out, RV it, or um, stay in our bunk yeah. houses on camp. Okay. Um, they'll head down for about four days. Yeah. And they'll, you know, build, they'll get their hands dirty. Yeah. yeah, (laughs) They'll get to see it and they'll get to love on the family that they're helping. Um, I will be personally going on that trip. Oh, okay. Nice. To show them kind of how it works and what's going on. And you've done this trip often, right? Yeah. Like you've been down there before, right? So by the end of, so their trip will probably be my sixth. Oh wow! Trip so you're, in a matter of a year yeah. and a half. Yeah. yeah so right yeah. yeah, I'm I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, it's awesome to go down there and and see the situation that these people are in. Yeah, that's yeah. really you know, I did it because I was I was eager to build a house. Yeah, I really didn't know much about one mission when I went on my first trip. Sure. And after knowing what they're all about. And the behind the scenes, that's when I really fell in love with it. Yeah. And yeah. and just changing people's lives. And then when I came back, I personally had a connection of, I'm not going to take things for granted. Yeah, man. You know, yeah. like life Life changing is, for yourself too. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So life is so quick and it, it, it can run right by you. And if you don't enjoy what you're doing, um, you know, I suggest that you find something that you It's all about how you, what make you know, what helps you sleep at night. You know Absolutely. what I mean? If you, if you can go to bed, feel like you've done something great, not only for yourself and your family, but for the world as well. Like, I mean, it's just a win, win, win situation. Oh, I love it. And so yeah. it seems like you're like right in the forefront. I'm right, right there. In the yeah. middle of it. Yeah. I love it. So tell us a little bit about how people donate. So can, do they donate time? Do they donate money? All of the above. All how, of the when, above. Where, and how. Yeah. All of the above. Yeah. So if you partner with us as a corporate partner, okay. you get your own website and you'll be able to track how much you've donated. You can show your clients. Got you. Um, people that you're working with. And is that done? And I guess we can speak on Cheetah Solar. So like if, if, if Cheetah Solar sells a system, does a portion of that go to one mission? So How they're, is that? they're working out those details. I okay. don't know what yeah, they're sure. going to do with their sales sure, guys. Sure, sure, and, sure. And I'm sure it'll be something like that though. Yeah. Right? yeah so yeah. so the, the sales rep will donate a certain portion to the, the fund gotcha. and then, and then Cheetah Solar as a whole. As a company will do so. Yep. Wow. And, then, and then Titan will match whatever they do. That means so, you're hitting it from the front, the back, top, and the bottom. Yeah, all <laughs> sides. Amazing. All sides. <laughs> so they're, they're, yeah, they're working out all those details, but um, they've, they've pledged to do two houses yeah. um, for the year. And, and that's amazing. Cause then to Titan build two will, houses. No, they want to fund, fund. Two they houses. want to fund two houses. That's yeah, huge. So they want to be able huge. to donate for two houses, which is amazing. So we need people to, to sign up for solar today so we can, yes. we can put two, two families Absolutely. into homes tomorrow. Yeah. And if we can do more, Let's do more. Hey, man, I'm, I'm in love with it. Uh, final final kind of message here. How have you seen the solar community come together to support one mission? So Titan Solar is one of our biggest sponsors. Yeah. And so yeah. when they introduce us to somebody else that's in the solar business, um, we're going to take that seriously. Yeah. And we're going to yeah. value, value that relationship to the highest level. We're going to be it. super professional about it. We're going to help them get whatever they need, marketing materials, yeah. things like that, letting yeah. their community know. Who, who they donate to, because that's what it comes down to these days. If you're not a part of a charity, 
um, you know, people will look the other way. Yeah, uh, man, yeah. that's that's so true. I mean, the world is changing and we need to be pro what makes the world better. Yeah. And, and community and uh, organizations like One Mission seem yeah. like they got they got it right on the Oh, yeah. right on the money. Yeah, our founder is such a cool guy. He's yeah. just a family guy. Very, yeah. What's very, his name? What's the uh, Jason Law. Jason Law founded One Mission. Yep. Wow. 11 years ago. Retired from being a firefighter. And he actually went on a trip when he was in high school. Wow. And just saw the need and... So he's always been giving change. and being there for his community. I mean, a firefighter, like you're, you're there for your community. Absolutely. So this guy, he knows, he knows giving back to community. Absolutely. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. All right. Where can we find you? Where can we find information so about One Mission? OneMission.org okay. um, is our main website. You can also contact me. Um, I can give you that contact information or you want me to just you say it right now, my friend. All right. Uh, my cell phone is 480-689-3813. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my email is david.strathman at one mission.org. Awesome. Final words. Why should people donate to One Mission today? You're making an impact locally, but also globally. Ladies and gentlemen, make an impact locally and globally. You heard it here first. Run with the Sun podcast brought to you by Cheetah Solar. My name is Kelvin West. David, thank you so much for being in the studio with us today. Hey, Learn so much about One Mission, and I'm really, really excited about it. I yeah. may be joining you guys down there in Let's Mexico. Let's do it. I still got to get a passport. So <laughs> until next time, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sun. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hansen. We really appreciate you taking the time to listen. Be sure to subscribe to the Run With The Sun podcast. You can find us on Apple, Google Play, and Spotify. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to hear all of the latest content. Be sure to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and lastly, go to our website, cheetahsolar.co, so you can subscribe to our monthly newsletter for all things solar. Thanks again for listening.